Hi everyone, welcome back to the Hollywood Actors Guide to Surviving the Film and Television Industry. This is your host, Jennifer Lynn Warren. Hi everybody, happy May, happy springtime. First up today, let's talk about these, these characters. Your characters need to be about the principles that they stand for and not the rules about the character. If you've had Stanislavski training or if you've done what I've told you and read an actor prepares, et cetera, et cetera, then you know about given circumstances. And what that is, is you go through the script and you write down every fact about your character. So you know all the facts about your characters. And many of you are treating these facts as rules instead of principles. What am I talking about? Amateurs obey rules. A lot of green actors that I work with will tell me, well, my character does, does this because of this. And okay, you're, you're, you, at least you're thinking about it. Wonderful. I've worked with rebellious actors. Rebellious actors are like, yeah, this is true about my character, but I'm going to break the rules and give them a different take. Great. That's a way of doing it, I guess. Sometimes that works. Most of the time it doesn't. <laughs> um, but an artist... An artist is able to master what what's the difference between a principle and a role. And what a principle is, it's a value that is a guide for behavior. So let me give you some examples, and I think the examples will clarify it for you. So let's say your character is a drug user. That's a rule. That's a given circumstance of the script, something you cannot change as an actor. This is what the writer is telling you is true, and you got to run with it. So the rule is your character is a drug user. The principle will be the character might be a drug user because it's a coping mechanism for the pain in their life. So as an actor, you're, you're working on the coping mechanism being a drug user just happens to be a fact about the character, but it's not the important thing. It's the principle behind it. The rule of a character, the given circumstance of, of a character could be that they're a bad driver. The principle could be they're a bad driver because of a childhood trauma of a horrible accident and they just you know, they wake up at night, they hear the crash in their head and they haven't been able to get over it, even though they don't, they seem okay, right? Now, some of these things are going to be in the script and great scripts are going to hint at it because they'll be fully fleshed out characters. This is also a trick, by the way, to make bad writing really good, good writing because you can go in and you can imbue these characters with principles instead of rules. Bad writers write rules, great writers address principles. Another rule right, might be that they're amazing at sex and everybody wants to do them. But a principle could be that they are terrified that the only way somebody would actually love them was if they were good at physical intimacy. Probably once again due to childhood drama. Uh, Freud was on to things, I think, for us actors <laughs> more than anything else. And so next time you're working on the script, go ahead, dig into those principles and don't, don't hang on to those rules because those rules are not going to give you a fully fleshed out human being, but those principles are. Malcolm Gladwell famously said that if you want to become a master of anything, you need to put in 10,000 hours. Many of us have done that. I have put in 10,000 hours as an actor, but have you put in 10,000 hours as an auditioner? Have you put in 10,000 hours memorizing lines? Have you put in your 10,000 hours? Well, one way you can do that is using our sponsor, weaudition.com. That's right, weaudition.com. Go on there, help memorize scenes, help break down scenes for other actors, be a coach, be a support, be a cheerleader, whatever you want to do. You can go on there. You can actually earn money, everybody. You can earn some money by helping other actors read. And many actors on there, by, their, by, by the way, read for free. And so if you want a tip, you can, but you don't have to read their profile 
profile, many of them are like, they're just happy to go on there to practice their 10, 10, 10, 10,000 hours. Oh goodness. I need to slow down. Their 10,000 hours. So go on to weaudition.com and use promo code HAG25 for your membership. That's H-A-G-2-5 for 25% off your membership. It makes it way under $10 a month and you can easily make that reading for two or three people a month and that makes it free for you. So that's weaudition.com promo code HAG25. Okay, so let's talk more about character and acting. I mean, it is an acting podcast after all, and there's so many podcasts out there breaking down the business, so I want to do what everybody else is not doing. So in a scene, there are three things that you should ask yourself. What does the hero want or what does the character want? What is keeping them from getting it, which we know from the Stanislavski system is called an obstacle. So what is the obstacle in the way? What is keeping them from getting what they want out of, out of life, which is their through line, or out of the scene, which is broken up into beats and such? If you don't know what I'm talking about, please read Stanislavski. Got to have your acting 101 down, everybody. And the third thing is, you know, does does the character get it or does the character not get it? But I was listening to David Mamet the other day and he brought up something as a, as a writer. So he was talking to writers and he was saying the same thing. As a writer, you need to know what your character wants, what is keeping it keeping them from getting it. And then he said, what's more important for the third question is what happens if they don't get it? And a light bulb went off in my head because sometimes I have trouble conveying to actors I'm coaching about stakes and how you have to raise the stakes in the scene. And sometimes actors don't know what the stakes are. And it was like, boom, that's it. That is where you find the stakes in the scene is what happens, whether your character gets it or not doesn't matter. You still need to answer the question, what happens if I don't get it. And if that answer doesn't excite you enough, then you need to raise the stakes. You need to make it bigger. You need to make it more painful. You need to make it a bigger loss. And that is going to put electricity into your scene. So one, what does your character want? Two, what is keeping them from getting it? And three, what happens if they don't get it? As we enjoy this wonderful spring weather and it becomes easy to sit back and want to go to the beach and relax and we're all getting vaccinated, you better be getting vaccinated. We're all getting vaccinated and we're enjoying everything, hugging our friends again. You got to remember, you have to push yourself out of your comfort zone. You have to. If you are in an acting class right now where it is easy and you're getting praised, you need a new you need a new class because you need feedback. You need specific feedback that can identify and address weaknesses that you have as an actor, maybe even as a human being. Weaknesses on your resume and your headshots and the way you dress and your haircut and the way you talk and the way your voice sounds and the way your voice carries and the first impressions you make in, in, in a room. All these things that we need to have as actors, you need to be out of your comfort zone. If you're comfortable as an actor right now and you're not booking, it's because you're too comfortable. You need to get comfortable with being uncomfortable. This is how you genuinely grow as an actor. When you get out of that comfort zone and you really start to push yourself and you start sending those emails you've been scared to send, taking that class you're afraid is way above you and you wouldn't be good at, whatever it is, you need to figure out what will make you uncomfortable and you need to go do that. Go do that. You can go spend some time in the sunshine on Sunday and have a picnic with your friends. But when it comes to your career, I don't want you having a picnic. No picnics in your acting career. None. Well, maybe after you book something, you can celebrate. But even then, don't relax. Don't get comfortable because never trust you book something until the check clears. And even then, even then wonder if you've booked it. Well, that's all. That's all I have for you guys today. 
Uh, thank you very much for tuning in every week. If you'd like to follow us on social media, we're everywhere at Hollywood Actors Guide. If you are doing self-tape May, I've been trying to watch everybody's self-tape May stuff and follow you and like you. If I'm not following you yet, tag me and I will follow you back have any questions i'm at hollywoodactorsguide at gmail.com and please rate and review us everywhere that you find wherever you listen to your podcasts um please it really really helps us as i'm sure you've heard every podcast tell you the podcasts are free we're all great resources there's many great podcasts out there thank you for choosing mine but rate and review the podcast that you love because it really 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 helps us and it makes us feel warm and fuzzy inside so that's it that's all i have for you this week break a leg and remember you are not alone